Hey, this is Joey here again with another AdWords tutorial. Uh, this one's going to be about keyword build out and match types and how match types don't actually matter as much as you might think. Um, if you talk to people about AdWords, uh, they might have an opinion that one match type is better than another, um, but that's not actually true. Uh, and in this video, I'm going to show you exactly why that's not true. All right, so if you've ran any AdWords traffic before, uh, you probably know the four match types. So there's broad match, so we, for example, social media. So with nothing, that's a broad match keyword. And there's broad match modified, so let's say I wanted broad match, but I wanted media and then social. So the broad match rules are going to apply to social, but the word media is definitely going to show up in the search query for the user um, in whatever order. Uh, and then we have phrase match social media. So that's in quotes. Um, so if someone searches how to get started on social media, uh, our query will show up. And if someone searches social media manager, our, our query will also show up. And then finally, we, ha we have the uh, most restrictive uh, match type, which is broad match, or which is exact match, rather. So that's brackets, um, social media. So that's only people who search exactly social media. So when you start your AdWords campaign, you might be thinking, which of these match types should I use? And that's a good question, but there's not necessarily a better answer. Uh, there's not ne necessarily a best answer, rather. Your goal in doing a proper AdWords campaign is to make sure that no one keyword overlaps with search queries for another keyword. So uh, let me show you what I mean. Uh, here's an example campaign we have. So over time, we got more keyword data. Um, let's take a look at this. So this was our original pharmacy tech campaign. Started with some broad match keywords here, pharmacy tech programs, pharmacy tech, pharmaceutical technician. And then over time, got enough data that we could pull our keyword reports. So you go here go to all. So let's sort by clicks. Um, so you can see here that most of these queries have the word pharmacy technician in there. Pharmacy technician, pharmacy technician, etc. Here's farm tech, pharmacist. So really we got pharmacy tech and pharmacy technician. So you might have been thinking that phrase match was the, or that broad match was the way to start here. But the point is, in a good AdWords campaign, you just want to whittle down all the irrelevant searches until you find your most highly converting keywords. So for me, I found most of the keywords here uh, correspond to a phrase match, or most of the search queries here correspond to a phrase match for a pharmacy technician. So I made a new ad group where I only have the pharmacy technician keyword as a phrase match. Then I made new ads that specifically correspond to that. Um, and that increased our CTR a lot. So you see a three CTR here, uh, and you see a 0.94 CTR here. This is what Perry Marshall calls the peel and stick method. Um, so again, your goal with keywords is not to have one match type over the other um, because some people might say all exact match keywords is the best. Or some people might say broad match keywords plus negatives is the best, right? But really, it just depends on what your goal is and how much traffic you're getting. If you had a high traffic offer, right, then you might be able to do exact matches and get more than a few hundred searches a month. But if you don't, it's not really necessary. So you can stick with broad match throughout your whole campaign, but it's always good to keep in mind negatives. So, and of course you just add negatives like this. You go in here, look at all the 
keyword data uh, or the search query data. And it's as simple as doing that, saying add negative keyword, choosing where to add it. And I always recommend adding negative keywords as a phrase match. So that's a little bit of a quick uh, tutorial about different match types and how um, the real goal with match types is to have no overlapping search queries covered by two different keywords. Uh, for more reading on this article, I or on this topic, I recommend checking out the Search Engine Land article on the theory of sets. Match types don't matter. It's definitely a thought-provoking article, and you know it should change the way that you think about AdWords and match types. Uh, thanks a lot, and uh, stay tuned for the next tutorial.